The following episode is dedicated to our loyal listeners in Weeford, Staffordshire, England. Welcome to the Steez with your hosts, Jezbot and Timmy Taco. Think of this podcast as a variety show. Each week, these two fine young gentlemen create a rapid fire podcast built up of a wide selection of segments, games, and such. They cover so much during their hour together, from community concerns to politics, mysteries to so so science. Join us for another episode of The Steez, a jumping the turnstile subsidiary. I love you, and also with you. I'm Jesbot. I'm Dibby Duggett. Welcome to the Steez, just like that guy just said. Yeah. Happy Easter, Tim. Yeah, and also to you. Yeah, well, it's bloody come around again. We're yeah. seven years into the pod. Our anniversary has happened, come, gone. Seven or? Seventh year. Seven, okay. Yeah. It's the uh, age of reason. We did start recording before April the 1st. We were recording in October, yeah. November. Yeah. So, yeah. you bet anyway, I mean, who's counting? Mm. We are per episode. What are you? This uh, is episode three sixty two. Three sixty two. Yeah. Soaking wet. <laughs> 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 On a Saturday afternoon after a big bloody storm last night, mate. Big storm. Cop the storms. Cop the stormed and yeah. Uh, yeah, went to work today. Yeah, copped, right. a, copped a bit of storm, but it came good. Okay, and that's a part of off. Nah, it's part of my community concerns as well. Like, okay. I'll, I need to talk about the RSL folks. Oh, well, let's get into it, shall yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. He has. <laughs> Correcting community concerns. Con- correcting concerns. One concern at a time. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps well, the bloody, so. uh, I'm a bit more worried about all the folks down the RSL. Yeah, well, you were just saying that in the intro. Yeah, mate, just so like two seconds ago, like, li- literally. What a coincidence. Yeah, because, like, I mean, I haven't me having my first beer for the day, but it's Easter, right? Today, yeah. it's Saturday. And it's, it's, I've already worked, and it's like five minutes to two, soaking wet. Yeah. So we just cracked our first. Yeah, Corona Coronas. Yeah, well... Don't the get only, me started on those guys. Corona they were they, given to me, by the way. The only Corona they want you to put in your body. <laughs> it's mm. the only Corona they want to put in your boner. Mm. Uh, but it doesn't give you a boner. It actually makes you very soft. It's a bit, yeah. yeah, it's disgusting. Tap water, or like mud water. Okay. Yeah. But it was given to me by my father-in-law, so okay, I'm going to so drink it. Accept. I accept. Yeah, so anyway, I'm having a, having a bevy. But uh, the dudes that get there at 10 o'clock at the RSL, like lining up to get in, yeah, what's and what's then the ten o'clock there? beers. Are we talking like on little scooters? So this walkers, is the con- this is the concern. Crutches. This is the concern. Got it seems stick, it seems <laughs> it seems that if you're going to the RSL on the daily, mm. you your body's crook. Yeah, it's cactus. Yeah, you're yeah. dunzo. You need help. They are, as you said, on scoots. They're yeah. in thongs. They're all got that waddle. Scoots like, and boots. They got the pubicitis but bonus. Oh, yeah. Like where they, they walk with that Maxim. waddle and an yeah. in, 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 in step. In Chicken step. In steps. <laughs> then they've got the canes. The, um, they've got the skadoots. They've trolleys. got. The, yeah, the, the walkers. Classic shopping trolley. You know, the um, old lady shopping trolleys. The yeah, the ones. shopping trolleys. Yeah. You've got the elderly son carrying yeah. mum into yeah. into the thing. You've got the ambos rocking up. But then what are we doing? We're getting counter meals. What are, what are we doing at that time? Po- uh, poke, pokies? pokies yeah. I think coffees. A couple of schooners. Beers and co- uh, and ciggies. And a sense of community. Yeah, it is. <laughs> With but, other concerns. Look, I mean, I'm not one to judge, but I am. <laughs> it's not so much the concern that... Um, it's quality of life is what I'm trying to get at. Because, yeah, they're in their 70s. Some of them in their 80s, they're still drinking, they're still smoking, they're still partying like every day. So what are you trying to say? That it doesn't, maybe these things don't kill us? Well, look, their knees, their hips, their joints, their skin, all hurts. I think it's once you stop, once you stop doing the, um, doing the things that make you alive, like (laughs) if you stop drinking and stop poking, yeah, I'd probably wither away and die. Probably. Alone. I mean, it is it is on the beach. This RSL, so mm. the Chelsea RSL. Mm. Shout out, big shout, shout out. Shout outs. So um, then, so count of meals and just go over and get a bloody food. I don't leave the job, mate. 
Do you reckon they're getting um, they're getting senior discounts before eleven thirty on the uh, munch? Uh, well, it's lunch probably cheaper. Buffet. It's probably cheaper to eat down there. It would be, wouldn't it? Um, but then the six, better than the um, six classic, pints later. Classic uh, bilo um, cat food mm. scenario that most old people um, inevitably end up. Having to resort to <laughs> <laughs> But here's the thing. I mean, if you're starting your day, let's just say you wake up. At, some of them wake up at four, five, I would imagine. Mm. Mm. Um, they're up and at them. Up and at them. Up and at them. Mm. So by the time they get to the pub and have their first pint, oh, they're good. midway through their day. Yeah, they're 12 uh, hours in. Yeah. And you go on home, you're in bed by, what, six, six thirds after Ray Breakfast Martin? Breakfast is almost lunch. Hmm. Mm. So, like, we traditionally go out, say, as we've been getting older, it gets earlier and earlier. Yeah. We used to go out at 12 o'clock and then 10 o'clock, and then now it's like, let's get there at 7. So we could be home by 11. Yeah. But yeah. they're already in bed, yeah. these elderly. So, start your day early, mm. start drinking early, gamble your money away, and then you're in bed by 6 thirds. Yeah, right. So, what is the concern here? Well, it's the mobility. It's like, okay. get to that age, but if you can't walk in a straight line without some sort of assistance, it's you got you got to go get the, it. Um, go off to the slab to be um, put down, medically put down. Go to the osteo. See a masseuse. Yeah. Let's let, rub some CBD oil in our kneecaps. Yeah. Let's try to get mobile. Yeah. For the, for the remainder of the 25 years, we're going to be stuck on this shithole. Let's, um, let's stop going to the RSL every day, <laughs> should we? Yeah, I think alcohol might be um, adding to the degeneration of your body. Oh, do you think so? Maybe. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> mm. I did see one guy, one punter came past, and I could see him coming towards me because I'm doing a front fence there. Yeah. And uh, he's like, He's almost invisible, oh, yeah. but like he's blending into the surroundings. Like camouflage. Camouflage. Yeah. And, <laughs> and as he approaches, I, I realise that he's had his whole face, neck, eyelids, lips tattooed. Right. Hands. So he's, every, so, he's every, so black he's blue. Well, the, it's the old school ink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's no prison hats. Ink. There's no hats. There's no prison, sunscreen. Prison, prison slash sailor ink. That faded blue. Man, it's such a shame to have to get to 75 to realise that you made a mistake with the face or thing. Or that you've got to get, yeah, you got to get re-inked to black it up a bit better. Black is it. that technically blackface? He, he kind of is. <laughs> it kind of is. It was, but it was just like, it wasn't a nice, you know, um, olive skin or like a nice it's not dark like the, skin. It or, was or like... It's not like the doodles on a... Uh, the book next to the telephone. Uh, yeah, that's it. Or, or do you know, like, an, um, who's, who's that guy with the Snoopy? And he's got the dust around him the whole time? Linus. Linus, right. The dust cloud that covers covers him, surrounds yeah, him. Right. That's on his face. Mm. Neck, chest, hands. Head. 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 Yeah. <laughs> he's the filthy poor kid. But he, he said good day. I said, yeah. I said, g'day, mate. How you going? He goes, oh, looks like you're all fenced in there. <laughs> As he's waddling crap. I, yeah, I see. It I looks see, like yeah. your face skin's fucked. <laughs> oh, you better got to Yeah, I want to say, what's up with your face, man? Hey, how, how's it going, Bluey? <laughs> Give him one of them. Was it prison? Was it to uh, trauma? Uh, was no, it I was toughness? I was molested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was a child. Mm. Trying times. There you go, community concerns. I didn't correct shit, but... No, but... Um, let's have a, a let's swig to him. Let's, yeah. let's drink... Here's to the RSL down mm. in Chelsea. Mm. 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 Doggy Doodle, where are you? <coughs> it's time for your little Doggy Doodle Delights. <coughs> little Doggy Doodle Delights are made from real slices of the rare and endangered Asian orangutan and extravagant cutoffs from the discarded Mauritian turtleneck testicle. So don't settle for less. Give your dog the best. Are you enjoying that little Doggy Doodle? <coughs> little Doggy Doodle Delights. Little Doggy Doodle Delights. Little Doggy Doodle Delights. Little doggy doodle lights that shit. Oh! Up, oh, there's a bone zone alert. The bone zone. The bone zone! Ah, oh, bloody doggos, mate. I fucking had it up to me, bloody bones. Yeah, I had it to me, pushy pushy bones. Don't never ever say that in front of me. <laughs> Otherwise, we're you gonna, brought it to the table. We're going to be fighting, man. You brought my, it to the table. Not my fur babies. I'm not. I don't have kids. No, you, you don't. I'm uh, a pet owner. Have they got jackets? 
Winter they, jackets. If you put winter jackets on them, they immediately freeze silhouettes, not like um, statue styles. But you've got them? Yeah. Got them. Okay, they're your babies. Then. They're all they're all from Bunnings. All the merch, because they've just um, opened a pet aisle in Bunnings. Right. Yeah. So now it's like all the merch is for the doggos. Little doggy hard hats, little doggy bowls, little doggy oh, yeah. doodle delights. Uh, um, reflective um, reflective vests, vests, vests the exactly. Vibes. Like yeah. scarves and all this, whatnot. But you can't put anything on my dogs. They just go, mm, fuck off. Yeah, right. What about collars? How do they go with that? Collars they must, they love. Because it's, well, it symbolises walkies. Well, it symbolises they're being dominated by their master. It's time to smell some other dog's piss. <laughs> let's get into it. Yeah, let's go for walkies. Uh, what's yeah, what's well, the uh, this little what's, what's the bark report? Frankie, uh, she's I don't know. She's up. She's down. She's hot. She's cold. She's left. She's right. She's yeah. in. She's out. You're right. Gotcha. Uh, Forty. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Right. Uh, but he hates every dog and a lot of people. He's got um, small man syndrome. Mm. Yeah. So he's got love in him. He's got a lot of love in him. Yeah. But it's only, it's for the family. Yeah, okay. For Frankie, for me, yeah. you, in Cassie. A circle. Yeah, the, the in-laws. Yeah, right. In a circle. <laughs> <laughs> New people that come to the house, it takes a while it's, for it's, him to Yeah, it's, it's a bark warm up. Fest. Anyway, so I got home the other day, get out of my car, and when I reverse in... They it has a beeping beep beep beep, yeah. And so um, I think they think that that's me going oof oof oof. Right. And it's like oh he's home. Burk, 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 burk. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. So Floydy has this like palate thing where mm. you can reverse sneeze, and it's like hug <laughs> hug. Can't get that palate hug <laughs> out. So it's like a <laughs> but he sort of he only does it when he's. Excited, like first thing in the morning. Yeah, right. And he sees, yeah, and he's fucking triggered. Triggered. Frankie never knew how to do it before he started doing it. Right. Now she's learnt how to get, obviously, because when he does it, so we pick it, him up. Like doing this. <laughs> rough, rough. But then, like, I kicked you in the throat. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So she's learnt the behaviour because I. You know, when he's doing it, I pick him up. Oh, there, there, calm oh, down, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, right. So she's learned how to... <coughs> to, get, to get the old... Uh, Sympathy. To get a bit of the old jazz bot. Yeah, jazz bot love. Love and That pats. doesn't come too freely. Okay, it has to be um, demanded through um, the falseness of choking. <laughs> so anyway, get home, get beeping, beep, beep, beep. Get out of the car. Cass is on the back deck with Frankie. She's just started to have a a backwards breathing <laughs> conipsh. Right. right. And she's like, Hank, 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 Hank. And I was like, right. fuck it. What's, what's in her throat? Yeah. Chip chagging. Tipped her upside down. Yeah. Squeeze her a lot. Uh, squeeze. Yeah. I put the fingers down the throat so <laughs> you can open her up. Yeah. Um, but no, she's fine. She's got nothing caught in her throat. But she, now she's like freaked herself out. It's like, yeah, oh, fuck. I did it. I did it, but I did I did it too too <laughs> oh, well. But I did it for fake, and it made it real. I went to method on it. Okay, he's a method actor, <laughs> and um, yeah. So she's shaking now. I'm like, fucking hell! All right, well, just sit down, settle down. So on the couch with it, she's on my lap. Bone zone. The bone That's zone. hours, and every once in a while she'll do it, and then she'll freak herself out, shake, shake, shake. I'm like shit, babe. I'm like, what do we, what do we yeah. do? Like, but every every time you go to the veto, every time they go, oh, they you hear. Ch- <laughs> 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 they say to you, "Oh, well, we can't really. We can have her overnight. We can do the X-ray. Oh, yeah. We can blah blah, blah 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 blah. But we probably just tell you to keep, you know, keep your eye on it's her overnight. Stay. Pay to stay, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course it is. So we've learnt from this before, and yeah. it's we know she hasn't swallowed anything or whatever it is, and mm. so it's like, all right, well, we'll just keep her eye on her and go to the vet first thing in the morning. You sure about doing that? It. Because we've got uh, fantastic facilities mm. here, methylated spirits baths. And <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so morning comes. Mm. She slept on the bed with us, mm. so she got what she wanted. Privilege, little fucking turd. Yeah. Um, does it a few times during the night, but not nothing like hardcore. Just to keep the story But she, she's like, do you know when you go to a concert or you're screaming all night or you, uh, let's say you, you throw up for like six hours because yeah, sure. of the gig, yeah, <laughs> the shit beer or you had you, too much of it yeah. or whatever. Whatever. 
um, and that's feeling in your throat. And when you talk, yeah. you talk like a um, a frog. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, so, she, yeah, she's done herself a mischief. We go, all right, we'll book her into the bloody vet. I go to work. Cass calls the vet. Can't get in until 4 thirds. Goes there at 4 thirds. Um, and in the in, during the day, she cast didn't see her piss, eat, shit. Okay. She hasn't, and I know she hasn't pissed since Cause you take I got her home. Out. Like I took her out. I'm. Oh, she's been on my lap. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you want to do you want to whiz now? It's been like seven hours. Roof. Because what's she gonna say? Yes, thanks. As soon as Cass got the lead, yep. she um started cheering up. Took a shit. Took a piss. Ate some food, had a drink, got in the car to go to the vet. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. And Cass sent me a photo of her like, in yeah. the waiting bay. Just I was just happy, happy, as... As, happy as Larry. Had a shit in the in the vet as oh. well. She always does that. Really? Dumps a load. Yep. In, on the in floor? The, at the vets. It's either piss or shit. On the floor? Yeah. And they go, don't worry. That's fine. That's fine. We'll mop it, it up. It happens almost every day. Yeah. Well, it well you got to stand there while they, they clean up your dog's... Mm. No baggies in there. There's baggies. There's mops. There's bleach. It's it's all done properly. So that's interesting because like if you didn't want to pick up your shit, mm. you could just take your dog for a walk in the foyer of a vet, <laughs> yeah, right. and then somebody else picks it up for well, you. Well, no one's picking up their shit anyway. Okay. Well, uh, and here's the thing. Here's the rub. Mm. The, um, mm. They had to go full cough kennel kennel cough protocols. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> if you could put uh, something on my voice there. Thanks, Tim. Um, it's like kennel cough, whatever. It's like whooping cough for, for doggos. Yeah. So it's like you got to call us from the car park. We've got to come out with the gloves and the mascos, and we got to make sure that she's not going to infect the whole thing. Yeah, right. Okay. But nothing's wrong with her, so... No, and nothing's wrong with her. Nothing's wrong with her. So it's just a show. It was just all... performance. Yeah. Yeah. It was up there with... Um, uh, <laughs> Christopher Walken. Tom... Tom Cruise's classic running scenes. Um, uh-huh. You got your Brad Pitt classic eating and acting. You yeah, know? you've got like a trigger that helps the acting along. She had that spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keywords. Spaghetti. <laughs> uh, Who's the uh, Nick Cage? Nick Cage. Yeah, he, he'll do a classic scream. Yeah. Scream. Oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> the bees. The bees. Yeah, he does that a bit, doesn't he? Uh, okay, well, there you go, Doggo, the Bone Zone. Bone Zone. Watch for that one. So mm. that's, the, that's the dog that cried bone. Mm. Dog that cried wolf. You know, that's, next yeah, time... Yeah, not too um, bad, actually. Next time she wants some... Loving. For an actual injury, you're just going to be... I'm not going to take her. No, nah, that's it. But if you don't take it to the vet, and then it fucking dies. Uh, uh, and as I said, it's not my fur baby, but I actually love them. Yeah, well, you're not going to... You don't want your... You know, I just told you to drop dead And I did appreciate the phone. <laughs> I did oh, appreciate practice. the phone call from you the next day. Oh. I wanted to see. I wanted to see yeah. what the follow up was. Yeah. Because we didn't do a podcast. Yeah, so well, I, well, done, I didn't so get I the know. story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bone zone. All right, there you go, bone zone. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! <laughs> and speaking of bees. Okay. Okay. And it's not Hebe Skeeby. Oh, God. It's got nothing to do with Hebe Skeeby. Okay. That's amazing. I know. And it, this music's, I think it's a bit too upbeat for the B songs, but that's fine. Okay. Um, because it's, I don't know, it's, something's going on with the bees around my house. I see. This <clears> could be a myth, mystery. Could be a mystery. So, so science, mm. conspiracy corner. Mm-hmm. I don't know. 5G towers yeah. messing with the bees. Jones. The, Turn the bees gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, had a swarm of them yesterday, just you know, in my garden doing their busy doing their thing. Busy, that's, busy fine, bees, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's why I put all doing the flowers what, in. Doing what? Bees do. bees do. You don't have to pay them overtime. They no. always rock up. Yep. And you don't need to do company tax for them. I don't know. No. <laughs> Payroll tax. Yeah. Um, but they they, they f- flew into my house. There's probably about fifteen of them. Oh, because you've got an open door <laughs> policy at your joint. I, I, Correct. Um, front door, back door. Mm-hmm. Um, gusty winds down the hall. Yeah, have a good scrape out. 
Yeah, there's always a good airflow oh. going. So, the, and that's what that's what I commend you just on off the back of the bone zone. Mm. Your dog, your house doesn't smell like dog house. You know, Correct. You Correct. Houses, yeah. it's like yeah. couch dog, dog couch. Well, you got to get you got to have leather couches, no rugs, yeah, okay. no carpet, yeah, everything's wipeable, and paint it every like three years. So the bees are getting. So the in. bees, they fifteen bees are in there, and that's fine. But then I say, well, well, we'll better close up and start getting the bees out because they're all. Uh, some of them are starting to wig out, like <laughs> just necked <laughs> that entire beer. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> they're trying to. Excuse me. <clears throat> Yeah, so they're um, some of them are flying, some of them are sitting. Yeah, came back in from outside, and there was like one in the sink. So they're lost. I don't, I don't know what's going Did on. They lose the signal. They must have. The GPS is broke. So I I start saving them out of the sink. Yep. Scoop one out. Yep. Put it on the uh, plant outside. Gotcha. And, and so then launch start, launch pad. It's up higher. Yeah, it's up higher. And then yeah. I um, start blowing on. It. Yeah. Trying to dry them off a little bit. Yeah, get some airflow. Yeah. yeah. Dry off. Get your wings going, buddy. Yeah. Um, save a second one about 15 minutes later from the sink. I'm like, what are you doing in the sink, bros? Just get out of the Back sink. in the sink. And then around the windows. Right. They're, they're sitting. I don't know where they are. They fucking Bathing mess. in 5G. So I, I saved literally 15 of the bastards. Yeah, right. We're talking Scoop. Swarmo. Put it on the plant. Scoop, put on the plant. Yeah. Like, introduce them to their buddies. Like, you're all in the same area, Crew. bros. Yeah. And dead ones. and like, You're all in the same union, boys. <laughs> why? Why? I think they're all female, by the way. Girls. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Ladies. Um, non... Non-binary bees. Non-binary. Mm. There you go. Not really. Um, so, what the so bloody hell's going on? What the on? heck, yeah. We don't uh, have more then, teen. There's no... Because maybe, uh, maybe it's the, the the change in the weathers and and like in between a, a, a pollen hunt, they did a, did the weather was a it dumps and they lose the signal, and so maybe they're just like we're not going from, out there. We can't find the boys, <laughs> uh, the girls, the other girls, the other gals. <laughs> you know when you know when you see the the gals walking down the street, Chapel Street, and they're, they're on the girls' night out. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, handbags yeah. in the air. And sometimes the group gets separated and they're like, where'd you end up? Where'd you end up? Yeah, yeah. I think it's one of those scenarios. What's a woo girl? Let me explain. A woo girl is a type of young woman who, like the cuckoo bird or the whippoorwill, gets her name from the signature sound she makes. Yeah. 15. When you're on the hunt as a... As a uh... As a, a predator, um, <laughs> you, a man about town, you mean? <laughs> you go for the weak, the 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 people that are the, the stragglers, stragglers, the, um, the they, deers, mm, that, uh, the lame deers, and the, they get uh, lost. They don't know where they are. They yeah, fall they behind. Yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been married for 20, 20 plus yeah, years. I I'm, I'm fine. I haven't been a predator for years. <laughs> <laughs> That's bee, not funny. Bee mystery. We'll find out. No, we won't. We'll just ask it. Ask Chat GPT. He won't tell you any conspiracy theories. Yeah, okay. Ask it about bloody chemtrails, mate. They'll go. It's vapor trails. Oh, it's not tra- vapor trails. Trails. Okay. Turn the bees gay. <laughs> Turn the clouds gay. <laughs> sure. Are. Yeah. Alex. Alex, he's done it again. <laughs> Yes, welcome to Mysteries. This mm. one uh, comes out of an airplane cockpit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> an airplane's right in the airplane's cockpit. Well, it's uh, more like hyper intelligence. Where does it come from? You, where, where do you just when you're like five and a half, six years old, and yeah. you already know shit. Yeah, you shouldn't know. Yeah, like you haven't had time to study. Barely even learn how to read yet. I would mm. say, but you're already knowing shit so this little kid he's in the cockpit oh, yeah. and he's talking to the captain it's like but it's not like oh where's the windscreen wipers yeah, yeah, yeah he's talking he's talking physics and shit with him so <laughs> when he's also some planes have a ram air turbine a ram air turbine adam yeah and what does that do it gets emergency systems back on if the engines fail okay then the ram air turbine 
can help to bring back the systems. To bring back the systems to, to control the aircraft? Yeah, but due to the no engine power, the landing gear doors will not come up. Okay, okay. After that, they, you have to do something else to lower the flaps. Oh, you have to do something else to lower the flaps? Yes. Okay. You have to lower them by gravity alone. Okay, okay. You have to drop the gear by gravity alone. Uh-huh. And if you have no hydraulics and your plane is banking right, you reduce the engine, you reduce engine one and increase engine two. Okay. Then the plane will go level again. Oh, wow. It's called asymmetrical power, yeah? Yeah. How old are you? Uh, five years, 11 months. Get out of here. <laughs> really? No way. <laughs> I don't let me kiss Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. You're so smart. My God, you Bless be, you. Like, what you gonna do actually when you grow up? Not pilot, but what, you, what do you no. wanna be? I will be a captain. Yes. <laughs> Just like you. Yes, better than me. Better than me, yeah? Yeah. I can't wait to fly with you. Will you remember me? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, he'll remember because I think that he's got a photographic memory. And he's watched it. He's watched the video and he's just recanting it. Nah, but he understands. He understands. Yeah, I want to put him. I want to put him. Hydraulics. Let's get this kid on a simulator ASAP and say, like, just like, don't give him any instruction. Put him on the simulator and See then just go. And then halfway through the thing, an incident occurs and mm. he's got to rescue the plane. I mean, he's only, he's barely six. Yeah, but like, does he know? The, oh, does he, yeah. Does yeah. he has know he, where the button is? Does he know how to flip the car? Has he, has does he, he been, know how to go light speed? Has he been reincarnated, you know, pilot styles? Yeah, and he crashed his last plane. Yeah. So he's and so he's now he knows born into this yeah, information. You have to use a, using gravity alone because the last time I crashed a plane, I <laughs> didn't do that step. Now you're going to get these. You, you, are you going to get the people saying it's um, autism, autism? Do yeah. autism? So I say if you're just smart, if you're I a say, genius, you automatically are autism. Yeah, I think I think you've been spectrumed. Straight I up, I think you get spectrumed. It's like, no, no, I'm just smart. No, or, no, I no, you're on the spec, bro. <laughs> I don't want to be <laughs> you're on the speckin', spec, bro. You're specking hard. Do right you now. think this kid should be left alone now? Like, don't bother going through the schooling and go to uni early and do yeah, the Doogie right. Howser thing. Or just go, go have a play, a rummage around until you're 18. And yeah, then, but then if you're normal. But then if he's, yeah, but then he gets a, then he gets a shocking case of the dum-dums. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. So... <laughs> he'll um he'll he'll know all this shit about planes and um kicking a soccer ball around. That's all he's gonna know. Yeah. Those two YouTube things. videos. But uh that's good. That's, Where does that's, it come from? That's a mystery. Where does it come from and how do you do it? And how come we can't do it? And and that. Like have brains and Yeah, and, and thinking stuff. It's hard enough just putting this show out. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, thank God for it'd be good, uh, oh, thank God for J, uh, Chat GPT. Mm. <laughs> yeah, be fucked. But uh, yeah, so there you go. It's a savant, mm. savant pilot, pilot child. Savant. Mm. What if he's into anything else? Or yeah, I'd knows. like to see if he can run off. You know, or he's just plain the entire plain cast plain of Mash, plain. or you know, like every episode plot line, something like that. Because oh. that's what that's what most kids would be. Interested in mash in, yeah, episodes, yeah, yeah. bloody Mr. Beast, and oh, yeah, yeah, you know, like, um, no, don't videos. get me started on Mr. Beast, yeah, right. his mate, his mate, which mate is it? The mate with the the Chris, yeah, the guy that with his with the what's family. he done? Oh, he's on the horm hormone replacement therapies, is he though? Yeah, all right, well, forget it. He's, he's turning into a Mr. Beast, yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he's, well, I don't know, he's got a son and a wife, and I don't know why he wants to <sighs> grow breasts and. Long hair anymore? Like, just, <laughs> just be yourself. Like. Yeah, I guess that's just what he's trying to do. I guess. Oh, that was triggering. Sorry. Yeah. Um, myth three <laughs> over and out. Oh yeah, I'll say that's a myth right there. And now a word from our sponsors. Uh, good afternoon, folks. This is your captain speaking? Uh, we're currently heading straight for a mountain at 850 kilometers an hour. 
You're all about to die a horrible, fiery death, so now's a great time to thank you for flying with us, and please enjoy our complimentary bottle of Alfonso's Relief. That's right, Alfonso's Relief, located in your upper baggage compartment. Reach for the relief. <laughs> Alfonso's Relief, even in certain death, reach for the relief. Photo. Here's a photo of, which is your backyard, and it's from the very distant future. <laughs> <laughs> it's stated, which is very strange, 2nd of April, 2078. Is there anything in this that would indicate... Time travel. Time travel or the future. What's going on back in the distance? Because this is the same direction that you see the UFOs in, you see. Oh, all the time. Yeah. So, could you date back to wow. when you had your backyard looking like that? Oh, yeah. It's years ago. Okay. So, uh, hopefully it doesn't revert. It's from the past. Where, but, where, uh, where'd that pop up? Well, it popped up when we were at that bloody restaurant. I was just scrolling through my phone in the city and then boom, all these new photos came up. And I had, I had like last week gone through my Mac and then added some photos to airdrop to, to put into my albums to collections. Yeah, well, that's where, that's where it's come that's from. That's where it's come from. But why is it 2078? I don't know. Well, I think, I think it's actually... And it's the day after <clears throat> the podcast, podcast anniversary, yes. Uh, it just seems that I must have had an old camera dated incorrectly gotcha. and it's gone into the system yeah. but now every time I take a photo those 2078 photos are right at the top oh. of the top of the scroll yeah yeah. because it's always They're like in the way now for, for another 70 years or 30 years or whatever at least oh, you do the math like, you do that I'm not doing it no uh, yeah I don't know I don't mm. know and then how do you get out of it like if we, if you decide to go to Samsung or Bosch mm. telephones or whatever the brand may be. Yeah. Um, how are you going to get all that shit? Or all my photos. Yeah. But as it turns out, no one really looks at photos or cares about no. photos. I don't know why we're taking so many. Yeah. I don't know what the deal is. Nah. <laughs> I've gone back to just fucking not doing it yeah. anymore. No. Nah. I just don't. I wish I could go back in time and not buy my Canon camera. Mm. Oh right, okay. At, at my wedding, like, because I oh. I had grandiose ideas in my thirties of having a nice camera and taking photos. Yeah, but the times have changed since yeah. I was a little man. Right, times have changed, and I don't care about the people in the photos anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. Mm. That's a big one. That's a problem. Yeah, who that? Who this? Who that guy? <laughs> oh, we could do a Madonna update. Oh right. M Melting Faces Laboratories? No, no, our friend Madonna. Oh, Santa. Okay. Santos. Yeah. Santa? Uh, well, well, before we do that... Let's not. We'll check with her. All right. <laughs> Erase that. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, good, bloody old phones, old, old memories. We'll, we've been going through, because it was Mason's bloody 11th birthday, so we've been going through the archives just to get photos of him. Mm. Yeah, it's just like, you know, a photo of a tree, a photo of a piece of wood, a photo of a, um, a measurement, a photo of a... <laughs> Bunnings uh, yeah, aisle. Receipt. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... I've got a Mason file. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. The Mason Files. The Mason Files. Perry Mason. Well, I just know that uh, when you're the second born or the fifth born, the, the amount of photos in the albums are... Diminished. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we were discovering. But yeah. that, like, because he went through my phone and said, am I adopted? <laughs> I was, what What the hell are you talking about? Uh, because I've, I went through your phone photos and I can't see any photos of me as a kid. Uh -huh. I was like, yeah, we just got you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember? We took you out of the box, took the bow off the... Don't, re don't you remember we rescued you and now you owe me? <laughs> owe me, owe me, owe. me, owe me, owe. <laughs> but we put it together and we we're thinking about going and um, and chucking it all in a folder for yeah. him, get Audrey to decorate it with her little artistic flares. Yeah. And then go, there you go, mate. Proof that you weren't adopted. But I wanted to chuck a few in there mm. of him as a baby. 
like a black and white photo with other parents <laughs> and then stick his face on it. 100%. And then just go, and, and he goes, who the hell's that? And we'll just, is, is that my grandparents? Oh, you shouldn't have no, said that one. No, that's your actual parents. That shouldn't be in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mess with the boy's head. I got it. Well, you're going to... Couldn't I? Well, you have to. If you're going to create a comedian or an artist or something, he's yeah. going to have some sort of torture in his life. Yeah, he's got to get pranked. The tortured artist. He's got to get candid camera at some mm. point. He has to ha- He has to have the potato on the ice cream trick. He's got to have <laughs> the empty egg resealed with egg white and thrown at him. That's a big one in this one. <laughs> I do that every time I cook egg, which is almost every day. Yeah. Put the egg back together. Seal it up and <laughs> blow the uh, <laughs> blow the egg white to seal it. Right. And, then, and then you either put it back in or I fill it with confetti and we reseal it. <laughs> so when they go... <laughs> <laughs> confetti eggs. <laughs> what a gagger. Well, you've got to do something to get through the years, don't oh, you? Because how much longer only... until they move out? Uh, yep. Yeah, probably 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty. Current interest rates, man. I'm not going to be one of those, right, it's time to get out kind of day. Bullshit. I'm not. Because I want to start going on holidays and yeah, stuff with you. Yeah, but I'll just do that. Oh, they get to stay and ruin your house. Oh, they can, they can, like, let's think about it. Spartek, 3,000. Spartek uh, 1, Spartek 3,000. <laughs> um, New Year's Eve's. Yeah. You know, like, if they've got a place to party. chill and party, this house is set up for that. It is. As long as you guys, as long as they have the respect that we had, where you just restore it back to... To normal, a la weird science, yeah. Which we watched the other night. I sit, make, got Mason to sit down. I went, yeah, this is this, this and that. There's a lot of there's a lot of booby talk. Yeah, bigger tits. Um, <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, like you know, he he sits in his um sits in his bathroom all night, tossing off to women's lingerie magazines. <laughs> you tossing off? No, mum, I wasn't tossing off. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, uh, we, we would have been eight. Or nine when we saw that. We've watched it a billion times. It it holds up. It looks really old. Yeah, like okay. It's gr- 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 grainy. Robert Danny Jr. is in it. Yeah. As a little baby. I love like the that. last scene, the party scene. It's sick. Yeah. And the movie is like zip, zop, bloody zap, an hour and a half, in and out, gaggity gag. No fat on the bones. No, no fat on the bones. It progresses It progresses like rapidly at the start. Well, let's do that as our next watch along. That'd be sick. I'll watch that again. In yeah, a all right. We'll do that. Okay. Weird Science Watch Along coming up soon. Yeah. Are we still doing a pod? It doesn't feel like I'm actually in the room. Yeah, what well, this is, this, is the, um, this is the sidebar, side mission. We finished the episode and then we're right. just like, well, just hit record one more time. Right. Mm. Because I don't feel like um, I'm, We're getting I'm anywhere. present. <laughs> it's like I'm watching myself talk, but I don't actually know where the you words... You can't actually hear it. I don't know where the words are coming from. <laughs> it's like I don't know where to put my hands. Oh, I don't know where to put my hands. Yeah. All right. Good. Get this. Go to drop off me kids off at school. Yes. And if you're not, if you haven't got your peepers in your street knowledge about ya, then in the mail, the old uh, Mon- city of Monash, I'm I'm calling you out. Mm. Uh, you're on notice because I got my infringement notice. So oh. No, you're on notice. <laughs> so drop Audrey off at uh, you know. 8.45 or whatever in the morning. School drop-off time. Everybody's zip zop zapping about. Yep. She jumps out of the car because there's traffic everywhere. I get slapped with a $111 fine, which comes two weeks later. Oh. No getting out of it. Where was he? No, it was... Um, he was just... He was creeping. Creeping and peeping. In the bushes? He must have been in the bushes. I reckon... Um, I reckon they should say... Um, that they have to, by law, put up a sign say in um, traffic inspection in progress, yeah. or a cone or something to signify it, because it's 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 entrapment. Because I've <laughs> been there, I've been there fifty billion times to drop off my kids. I know what the fuck the deal is, mate. I know how to, you know, stop me car, park and pick up me bloody stupid kids. 
Uh, I don't need a hundred and eleven dollar fine. It costs more than my fucking state school. Yeah, bill yeah. At the end of the start of the year. So that bill costs you more than this. This fine costs me more than edu- education. She's not really getting. <laughs> well, you you pay for what you, you get for, don't you? You yeah, get what I you pay, pay for. Nothing, so you get nothing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it works out. It works out. Yeah, I'm sure if you send your kid to like you know, the Xavier's and the uh, big schools, they end up coming out knowing how to speak French. Fit, they know how to do uh, fencing, like with a sword, not yeah. not build it fence, and they know how to bloody yeah, do they, maths and spell. Yeah, and, and um, they learn how to look down on the carpenters of the world. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Yeah, but I get my own back when they hire me and I give them the bill. Oh, you give them the um, educated I, uh, advice. I say, are you sitting down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you intellectual? Well, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is. I think that is the grab. I think that is the grab. The ticket. You, you're just going to get um, people that don't have any knowledge of the real outside world, mm. and then and they're, they're, that becomes your client. You hike up prices. Yeah, and then you test it out. You, you go, oh, I don't know, <laughs> two thousand dollars, but it's just one tile. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah mate, but it's still and. Pull it up, and it's, it's pretty big. I, I saw uh, a client gave me a, a someone else's quote, which you should never fucking do. Don't do that. Uh, but he was trying to charge to paint the um, the posts, the just the six hundred mil that's going in <laughs> okay. the concrete uh, with bitumen paint. Yeah, eight hundred and fifty dollars. And then he was just going to bury him and not yeah, do it. Yeah, he wasn't going to do it. Of course, he wasn't going to do it. No, eight hundred and fifty dollars. Eight hundred and fifty. How many posts are we talking? Uh, like fuck twenty. Oh my god. That's not a lot of posts. You could pour bitumen in the hole. Yeah, you could. Bitumen. Bitumen. <laughs> <laughs> totally pitted. <laughs> totally tired of the pit there. Go wipe that one. <laughs> <laughs> totally pitted. Totally pitted. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> that was like a hard job. <laughs> Well, it's it's that time again when yeah. Chat GPT kicks oh, in. Excellent! It's the <laughs> it's the third host. Yeah, and um, always rocks up, never late. But it will take over the podcast and eventually kill us. It will. Have you got anything um, to say, AI guy? I love to get freaky. I do it at least once a day. In fact, I almost can't tell the difference between my freaky time and my regular Gregorian calendar time. I would like to take this opportunity to remind all of you that the true measure of a man is not what he does, but what he is willing to do for others. Like getting freaky when it really matters. May you all find the courage to live up to this principle. And Spun happy Easter words, yeah. to one and all. What's his name? What are you going to name this guy? Uh, I don't know. Let's um, have a competition. Why are you right into uh, Charles Ponderosa? <laughs> jumping the turnstile podcast at Gmail and I had this, submit uh, your... I had this idea. It goes. It goes back. I know we're just touching on the um, the futuristic AI thing, but I was thinking back, going old school. Mm. All the payphones now are free. All right. So I went that? past. Well, they just they just nominated. They just said that uh, you've paid enough over the years. Yeah. These like, these boxes of payphones. We're not going to get. We're not going to get forty cents out here for a phone call, standard phone call. Mm. Uh, so we went past. The um, a payphone mm. over the road, and I went. Oh, check this out, Mason. And I call, and I went to the payphone and called my mobile. Mm. Right, and it connected. Mason answered it. Hello. Sure. So then, what it did is on my phone, it showed me the number of said of, uh, public telephone of the public telephone. Gotcha. So what I was thinking is that uh, seeing as we can't get any hosts in here anymore, <laughs> we could have a special guest, mystery guest, yeah, and we could so find a um, we could find a payphone in the city, and we could call it randomly. Call more, it more guaranteed for someone to pick it up. Have you still got the number of? I have got the number. Why don't we give it a? Well, give it a whirl and see who answers. Um, what, what are yeah. we gonna What are we gonna say if they if they answer? I don't know. Hey, you're on the podcast with uh, Tim and Jazz. Just asking if they're having a nice day. Hello. Hello, Crystal. Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hello. Yes. Yes. Hi. Hi. Hello, ma'am. 
Hi. Bye bye. And uh, obviously, no one's there, so it's it's a bit of a hit and miss. It is. <laughs> That's why I was saying we'll get Taya. We'll get one in the city. Yeah, it's guaranteed. To, yeah, but you, you would answer. A phone I would never answer rank. it because then it means really. You have five minutes to. Oh, the bomb is in the fountain. That whoever picks up. If you don't get to the other side of town within mm-hmm. three minutes, mm-hmm. the bomb is going to go off in yeah. the fountain. Yeah. Whoever picks up, it's going to be the target. Yeah, and that's it. And it's, anyway. it's never good news. So we'll when, s- when the phone's ringing. No, it's it? no, no, not not the landline. Like, not oh, the landline. Someone's dead. They got me. They got me. Um, so the. Well, so we might try that in future episodes. Mm. I'll just see if I can seek out a number. If I see a public phone booth, pick it up, ring your number, get the number. Yeah, and if you see, yeah, if you see, or if you hear a phone ringing, answer it. Answer it. Could might, be, um, could be us. Could be a lucky day. Could be a lucky day. Uh, so should I go back to um, our AI guy? Yes. Um. And uh, this time round, a bit more stand-up comedy for you. Oh, excellent. Classic uh, Don Rickles from the... Um, we did Don. Roasting... Did, no, we did um, uh, Rodney oh, Dangerfield they, they, over here. Kangaroo stole my ball. Kangaroo stole my ball. Uh, and so then Don we did Rickles. Jerry Seinfeld. Did Jerry Seinfeld. Mm. And uh, let's hear from uh, AI Don Rickles, yeah. shall we? My next guest, an old dear friend, is celebrating his 25th year at the Sahara Hotel. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles? Hey, look at this guy. He looks like he just got out of bed, crawled through a swamp, and showed up here. I don't know when to give him a drink or a technical shot. Hey, lady. You're so old, your birth certificate says expired on it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, were you around when the dead sea was just sick? <laughs> but seriously, sweetheart, you're so ugly, even your shadow takes a break when you walk by. The beauty's only skin deep, and you've got a lot more to work on. <laughs> yeah, no, you're wonderful, but this audience is dead. I thought I was performing in a way. I mean, I've seen lively crowds at a tax seminar. <laughs> Well, we wanted to um, Easter and all. We were talking mm. about going to bloody Easter Mass. Right. But it's a bloody um, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. What? Easter Day? Isn't it? Easter Sunday? Because I remember Easter Sunday Mass being a long one. I thought it was 11 o'clock service, you yeah. got Stations yeah. of the Cross. You got... Um, oh, you smoke, got the, the hanging incense. Him, the hanging him, the whipping him, the crowning him, mm, the, Easter the killing eggs. him. The burying of him and the hunting down of the raised of the dead of him. <laughs> the zombie version of The it. zombie him. It's like like I was saying to the kids, it's there's two episodes in this in the seasons that you gotta watch, buddy, Christmas and Easter. Yeah. If you're gonna go to any mass. Yeah. They're the they're the titular uh <laughs> you know. But we do know that Christmas has nothing to do with the actual no, birth, I think birth I, date of said No, Jesus. apparently, apparently it's it's swapsy, swapsy doodle dandies. Right. So they killed him in uh, Christmas, and he was born over in Easter. A new life, new life. Yeah, because he's um because he's a bloody isn't he a, uh, Aquarius or Pisces? Pisces. Mm. What's Pisces? It's April, all the, isn't it? Because it's all fish. It's too- not December. Is no, um, no, 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 Sagittarian. You- I don't know about uh, what month or whatever star sign he is, but in I that, don't know anything about that. Who do in, in, in that uh, two thousand years ago, the yeah. procession of the of the stars, we were yeah. in the age of the Pisces. The procession of the stars. <laughs> so it's like featuring why... Jesus, <laughs> the Christ, Mother Mary, <laughs> Mary Magdalene, Saint Peter, <laughs> and the other eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the Dancing Judas uh, <laughs> yeah. band. <clears throat> yeah, so that's why it's all fish symbols. And you yeah. know when you see on the back of a car, there's that fish symbol? Yeah, yeah you got him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like, that's like Pisces. Like okay. It's like the age of, you know. Fisher. Fi- Fisher. Fisher. And now we're fish moving into the age of Aquarius. Yeah. So I don't know it's if that's... more fish. More fish. No, Aquarius is like a... 
from uh, it's like a mermaid with a lion's head or something. No, shit like that's that. uh, Starbucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, what do we know? So, nothing. so church, yeah. church. But I was worried about. I, I, I just pitched it to the kids at, at dinner to, for the reaction, and they, and they actually went, "Yeah, right. Let's. Yeah, that would be check interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't mind checking that out." Because they never like, gone. So I was eating my words. But uh, I remember having a good old. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be the be the um, responsible mm. Catholic um, parishioner that I used to be. I don't um, think you'd be able to keep I'd, your mouth shut for no. An hour. I'd be laughing and making gags and the and the awkward silence with the holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of, of power and might. Heaven and earth is full, full of, of your his glory. Oh, full <laughs> of His glory. Do you know that this is the um. Back in the day, it's perfect music for it. Uh, sure. Reminiscing. The last time Mavis and Bruiser made the whole family go to Easter, <laughs> Easter Mass. <laughs> Remember that one? Yep. Up at, down, up at um, <laughs> Tom Bosco's Solution <laughs> College. And it was an outside Mass. And I do remember that. Steve and Mick were hung over. Yeah. Um, and it was, we're <laughs> all at that age where it was like, we don't want to. Fucking go! You this have to is... go. We have to go. It's tradition. We have to go. We have okay. to go. Tradition. And so we're like, all right, we'll go. Yeah. And we absolutely tore it apart. Well, I mean, Steve and Mick looked like bloody Bon Jovi. They and the did. Two of us <laughs> after a long haul. Bon Jovi roadies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's it. laughs> John Bovies. And then we just absolutely um, annihilated. Ruined laughed, it. Ruined. Ruined it. Yeah. Is more the point. Ru- then, um, we. Um, this is the we, last time you're yeah. ever going to mess with us. Again. We ruined the sacrament. <laughs> <laughs> ruined it for months. I think that definitely. was it. It was pretty embarrassing. Uh, I think she's in a good place about that all now. You know, like. Uh, yeah, for sure. But I mean. I need to do it. But um, when you're still. When you're practicing. When you're practicing Catholic. Catholic. And uh, Easter is the most sacred of all days. So. Um, I was worried that I'd have too much of a gag. And it's like when you're at yoga and you're trying to hold in the gas, Mm. you know, no one wants to be the one that farts. Mm. It's the same thing. It's like there's a, there's a few places you can't fart. You've got your classic elevator scenario. Funniest fart in an elevator. Uh, You've got uh, yoga. Can't fart yoga. You've got getting a um, stomach inspection at the old doctor's. Getting your uh, gynecological. (laughs) 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 Well, just pop a little look. That's not the best time. Um, uh, oh my God, she just queefed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and the other place is the church. Yeah. So, you so s- I'd be worried. You sent that- me this this uh, little uh, TikTok. <laughs> uh, I'm calling everything TikTok, but they're just memes or like little segments, videos. videos. It's, it's back in the days. It was uh, funniest home videos. Yeah, and I'm not on TikTok. It's just I watch. You uh, just get the thing. I get the thing. Yeah, and it's got the TikTok. So, all right, we're in a church. We're about. I don't know, it's scary. There's probably 50 people in there, maybe, all scattered. Uh, we're about where the person with the camera is, 16, 17 rows Pews back. back. Pews, where, pews yeah. back. Yeah. And let's just uh, turn that music down. and we'll, We have a lady singing. Is this real or fake? Oh, shit. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> yeah, go for it again. <laughs> I did watch I it. I think eight it's real. Times. Listen to the back. Everyone laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Happy it. Easter. Happy Easter. And that was the last time we went to church. That's the last time we ever brought uh, the kids to church. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That was that, was that was a man's fart. That was a man's fart, yeah. yeah that that's somebody with um what is it? IBS. Yeah, <laughs> I just couldn't hold it in. How about you just take it out? Yeah, it's just like, like <laughs> what the fuck? You surely you know you are under bad. you are that under was, so so much pain. That was control. That's a lot of gas. That was control though. <laughs> oh, you reckon it's on purpose? Yeah, well, like um, to get that kind of volume, like you got a cock. You got to yeah. There's, got there's, there's positioning. There's technique. There's context. There's timing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's um, um, core strength. <laughs> there's uh, yeah. <laughs> acoustics. I mean, there's you know, a there's nappy a, needed, I reckon. Yeah, that's... A wet one afterwards. Yeah, the wet ones. 
Yeah, there wow. you go, Happy Easter. Mm. Oh, but um, we didn't. No, we didn't. Uh, we didn't, didn't make go, the no plan. Kind of go to church. No, because we're going to do a breakfast around at Mumsies and Dadsies with a little bit of egg, egg hunt, and it clashes right with our um, right with the sacrament of um, Jesus Christ's um, superstar mm. assassination on the on the old cross there, the Sabbath. <laughs> Such so, a shame. so we're not going to go. Yeah, soon. and then what are we going to do? Go to Easter Mass that night, Sunday night? No, no. I wanna, nah, the, the no. Easter night crew is they're the, either oh, dedicated yeah. or they're on their way out of Catholicism because they're like, oh, didn't get to last the, chance, last chance to get yeah. one in. Yeah, okay. Get a whole last holy, call. Holy God, yeah, power of God might last call for Eucharist. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little bit dry. Yeah. They don't light the candles at the... Um, you know, we're not allowed to, If we went to said Mass, Tradish, we're not allowed to have the Eucharist. Oh, no, aren't we? No, because we haven't gone to... Um, conf- no, to confession. confession. Okay. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's been a good 38 30. years <laughs> since uh, the last I time I sinning. told you that I... Uh, Hit my brother. I stole 20 cents out of my mum's purse. And I did the bad murder. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't tell anyone. Can you, father? Yeah. No. <laughs> Happy Easter. And I'll say with you. <laughs> oh, he's done it. <laughs> One night only. One night only. The Mega Sports and Aquatic Stadium presents Jesus Christ! That's right, Jesus Christ himself performing all your favorites like Sermon on the Mound, Cold Classics turning water into wine, and coping with stig matter. Be amazed as Jesus walks on water in our shark and piranha infested stunt tanks. You don't want to miss the comedy antics that made him great, from the crucifixion to the resurrection. Special guests include Satan and the Little Devil Dancers, Moses and his motivational wealth building strategy, and we didn't forget the kids, comedy clown duo Sodom and Gomorrah. So this Sunday, ascend on down to the Mega Sport and Aquatic Stadium. It's going to be biblical. <laughs> Don't forget to tune in to next week's episode of Jumping the Turnstile. We look forward to providing you, the loyal listener, with much more shtick and repartee in the years to come. Don't forget to share this podcast to your friends and loved ones. That's all from us at Jumping the Turnstile. I'm Jesbot. And I'm Timmy Tucker. Thanks for listening. Happy Easter.